Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today uh, Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 Road Hauler and I think I didn't forget anything from the wording. This is a cool box. A lot of people are really happy that uh, this is the uh, out mode packaging or that they are packaged in out mode. Sorry my French. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, Fire Talks produced a short not long ago where if you have uh, you know the proper accessory, you can actually just take the figure from the box. Uh, but I've been extremely happy to find this because this guy. Okay, back when before the internet was a uh, such a common thing. I clearly remembered that Grapple was in Season 1. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen Grapple in Season 1. Uh, but you couldn't look it up, and uh, you know, information wasn't uh, superbly available back then. And everybody's like, no, he's Season 2, I don't remember him. Uh, so anyway, one day I uh, get uh, the uh, DVD box set, and I'm looking at the pilot, and I hear the cliff jumper going, and then I'm like, oh, okay, it was uh, another guy called Hauler that was supposed to be Grapple. I found out later he was supposed to be uh, uh, Hauler, but then they canceled them and then they recolored them as Grapple and then remolded as Inferno and blah, blah, blah. And then there was some lore created where it's a Constructicon that uh, didn't get uh, uh, reprogrammed by the Robo Smasher uh, in the Secret of Omega Supreme. Uh, so technically right now we're missing one Constructicon to be able to recreate the scene where uh, the eight Constructicons create Megatron. Um, so yeah, so anyway, today I'm going to review uh, Hauler, because I'm not going to call him a Road Hauler. And uh, he's a fantastic toy, I love the, the face sculpt, so let's take a look at it. Uh, before we do that, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel. And don't forget to check out DJC Collectible, my sponsor and uh, wait for the end of the video to get your 10% discount code. It's a fantastic store. Local pickup for me, but I understand that they have amazing packaging. Uh, he has a Facebook page and everything. You can check out all the positive comments from uh, the people that purchase there. And like I said, if you wait at the end of the video, you'll get the 10% discount code for anything Transformers. Uh, so uh, I guess roll the intro and uh, let's take a look at Roll Dollar. Ah, crap. Dollar. Okay, yeah, usually I put a little video up front just to, you know, remind you who the character is, but I already did that in the intro, and there's really no other uh, shot. Oh, wait, well, there's this one. Thus one fateful night, far below the city, Megatron was born. I guess that kind of counts. I don't know. Let's start with, well, okay, we're going to go with the instructions. So these legacy instructions are pretty much the same as we've seen before. Pause when you need it. There you go. So that's the instructions. They look good. But I'm going to show you something that really upset me. Uh, because I was excited to try something new. And then I was disappointed. So if you take a look at the box. It's a really good box. You know. Packed in alt mode. A lot of people are excited about that. Face sculpt looks uh, well on the image. Uh, which I guess this isn't a render, this is a, uh, or maybe it is, I'm not a graphic expert, but this looks more like colored, like an actual drawing, and it looks fantastic, it looks really good. Uh, road hauler, which, you know, hauler, looks better, legacy, blah blah blah, another image, and then you get, you know, you look at this product shot, looks good, and then you look at this one, you're like, ooh, this is interesting. This one here says that you can actually put the cannon inside the hook, uh, the, the, the crane. So I'm like, oh man, this is going to be awesome because you couldn't do that with the others. And then I kind of look at it and it kind of looks like a weird connection. So I open the box. Well, of course, knock everything down. I open the box and I'm taking a look at this. 
I'm like, oh, it's the same connector than we have with the original, with Grapple. And that connects to Ironworks or, you know, all those base bot, and then you can somehow plug that to Omega Supreme for some reason. So uh, that was part of the gimmick of uh, Earthrise, Siege, you know, so it's like, okay. And then you have this one here. Of course, won't show on camera. That's a five millimeter port. So you can't connect it here. And I'm like, okay, is there something? Can we move this? I don't know. Can you maybe use this and then plug it on the side? No, you can't. So this is false advertising and I'm kind of upset about that. But that's the only thing. So let's remove the box. The other accessory is the gun, which is same gun as we had with Grapple and Inferno and Artfire. Uh, you know, could use some paint. Maybe you will get some decals. You know, Toy Hacks has surprised me a couple of times. And that's one thing. I'm eagerly waiting for a Toy Hacks set for this guy. So, major improvement is, of course, the face. Which, a lot of people don't like the open mouth. Like, my god, Skywarp got so much hate because of the open mouth look. And I love it. You know, have Seekers with different face uh, sculpt. That's... You know, to, it just helps to differentiate them, so it's pretty cool. So I like this um, translucent window, you no know, seats, um, the Autobot logo, you know, translucent uh, headlight, chrome uh, uh, fender. Uh, you have, uh, you know, the black here. It's very constructed on green, which is amazing. My wife, when I picked that up, she's like, didn't you get just six of those? You know, because I have the Jinbao Devastator. I'm like, well, actually, and then I go on a rant and she rolls her eyes and she loves me. Uh, you have uh, the details on the legs here, black, all green, uh, the wheels, you know, so it's nothing new. You have uh, maybe, uh, nope, that's the same details as we had on Grapple. It's all green, the, 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 it's, uh, you know, it's the same thing. One thing that's different, on my copy anyway, I don't know about the others, this part here, uh, this, this connector and here, and this connector here, when you put it all together, it's way tighter than any of the three others that had the same gimmick. So, Eclipse, way better. The head doesn't come off easily as in the three other modes. So that's a major improvement and I'm really happy about that. So now, you know, I usually put grapple with the, the, the cannon, but I really prefer to have uh, the claw for uh, hauler just to put them uh, differently. And now, come on. And now one thing is that uh, I usually, you know, obscure characters, I have a shelf for that. Uh, well, right there that's my obscure character you know something that wasn't in g1 or stuff like that but this one was in g1 so he's gonna go on my g1 shelf so that's gonna be uh, pretty cool because i think he deserves it you know that's where he started so there you go so that's final look at that's not true so now let's take a look at articulation you've seen it all before so the head does rotate 360 and unfortunately if you look i have a paint smudge here, a little bit of gray green. I'm colorblind, so it could be any color. And also a little bit of paint, paint, paint smudge here. So that's upsetting, but you know, it gives them a little character. I mean, it's not worse than the battle damage we had in Siege. So you have the uh, Ferris wheel at the arms. You have kind of a butterfly because of the transformation. You have a rotation under the shoulder. You have the 90 well 90 87 uh, elbow bend and then you have no rotation at the hand but you know it you can move it a little bit because of transformation so that's good you have the waist rotation he's going to well if you lift this up he's going to kick back kick forward he's going to split like a log and then you have a 90 band. You could do more, but this part here kind of blocks it. And then the foot, you have a... Well, the whole mechanism 
allows you for great posing because you can you have the rocker um, you have a uh, back and forth so he does uh, well not great poses because they kind of all do the same pose anyway so uh, what else do you have oh you have a rotation at the leg here didn't notice that so yeah pretty standard so now let's do some size comparison with the only guy to ever speak to him cliff jumper studio series 86 sludge which i'm actually waiting to apply some decals for and the money shot to have hauler with grapple and inferno and art fire these three are all toy hacks so he's my next most wanted toy hacks kit so if toy hacks is listening to me i'm kidding they're not uh, i really want to have this set uh, it's gonna look fantastic whatever they do if it's similar to grapple with different colors or maybe even the same colors i don't know would look fantastic so can't wait for that and uh yeah so final look at uh hauler no that's not true so there you go final comparison let's go for transformation which is very simple first thing you want to do is take the leg rope oh, sorry knock the camera first thing you want to do is take the leg and put it like this and you're done there you go let's just uh well, one thing I do want to show you, this, it, it's known now. Uh, I think Patriot Prime or Burt was the first to do that. But you can actually move this by pushing. And I've showed this with Art Fire, and you can push it on the side. So there's a joint there that we can't see. And it makes for a more traditional look where the driver wouldn't have a, uh, a crane. Let's say you hook this up. You heard that. So if you hook this up, well, you have the hook, but if you put this, if you want to display them like that, and then you have the, you know, this in the middle of the screen. You can act, not the screen, but the wind windshield. You can put it on the side like this. So it doesn't look, well, I guess it doesn't really work with the big crane, but if you just take the hook, and you lay it down there. There you go. It's not, uh, blocking the view of the driver so but there's no seat so who cares but it's a very nice feature and the alt mode looks really good it's you know nothing new we've seen this before uh, rolls really good and while this is a flat smooth surface so it doesn't roll super well but on a carpet it looks amazing uh, the peg the pegs are different they've remolded for the th maybe third time the peg now it's uh, there's that little extra layer uh, that we don't have with the others, or do we? Let's just do a quick comparison with. Uh, see, that's the peg. So Inferno and Artfire have this peg here, smooth, white, short. While Grapple had the infamous long, brokeable one, which I had the sand. And I think I was smart, I sanded it on the side that you wouldn't see. So, but this is a new peg for this part. And it clips really well, it holds better. Because that's the problem with Inferno and Artfire. It doesn't actually hold super nice. But this one, fantastic. And just a bit of pressure and it's off, so pretty good. So I really like the whole look of this guy. Um, again, the Toy Hacks is going to do something amazing for it. I'm sure but looks good as is the only things I wish there was an actual rope here that you could pull down you know lift uh, which was a trailbreaker or hound I think it's trailbreaker so there you go a uh, quick look uh, well let's do some comparison I'm gonna put this up like that because I really like the crane more than I like the uh, the hook and also you can always put well that ratchet was tight you can always put the gun here for storage and uh, it doesn't uh, you know the only thing I wish this I don't know if you remember my hook review uh, the Jinbaho hook this thing here actually they made it so that you can pull it out and you have support on the sides I thought that was pretty cool because it doesn't they didn't need to add that for the transformation or anything it was just a feature it was really good so all right so let's do some size comparison with siege acid storm you know because green to green 
Siege Ironhide and the money shot with all the mold mates and you can see all oh, their imperfection because this thing is loose and it won't anyway maybe I'll put some floor polish on it uh, maybe that'll work so you know two different display mode you can have with the hook or the crane um, I love this mold it's one of my favorite mold of the whole Warfare Cybertron legacy line it's fantastic it's fun to transform it's not too complicated very intuitive and uh, if you you're careful with the uh, the peg none of them have uh, broken yet so well this is my second grapple because i had to get a replacement but it looks great it's it's i love to have all of these uh, four guys and as i said i'm waiting for the decals for this one so i'm just gonna leave it at that for the uh the, the final thoughts guys i'm super happy to have all four uh if they do a fifth one who's blue i'm gonna get it i don't care I love this mold, it's fantastic. Love uh, the fact that I have a ha hauler, so I'm one step closer to finishing my season one of uh, the characters, uh, which I'm collecting every season, but I just really would wish for, I'm missing a Gears and two Dinobots for uh, the Autobots. And for the Decepticon, I'm missing three Insecticons, which I'm never gonna get, because I don't care about those. So, whatever, I'm conflicting my, my own uh, saying that i want to have a complete season one but there's you know just some figures you just you can't care about everything so um so i'm really uh, happy to have this set i hope you've enjoyed this review guys to me this is a great money shot i love to be able to do this uh if you did like the review please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care